one espresso in, so I'm still waking up. I'm one espresso in and I'm wide awake. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Can you tell? <laughs> no. Familia, we are in an Uber right now going up to Christ the Redeemer on a cloudy, rainy day. So, this will be interesting. Wish us luck. Made it to Christ the Redeemer. Base camp. Base camp. Base camp? Yeah. One espresso in, so I'm still waking up. I'm one espresso in and I'm wide awake. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Can you tell? <laughs> no. So I've done Christ the Redeemer before, but it was years ago. It was like eight years ago. She's never done it. The people here said that there's pretty much no visibility, but we're gonna go see the statue. I think even if it's a cloudy day, to be able to go up and, and see Christ the Redeemer and say that you did it. And the train experience is really cool. Whatever, it's gonna be an adventure today. Yeah, yeah. On the train and it's starting to rain. I am not putting that in the vlog, it was so nerdy. <laughs> we just got on the train and it is pouring down rain right now. Bye Corinthians. Where are we right now? At Christ the Redeemer. Spectacular. We just got to Christ the Redeemer and I had been here before on a crystal clear day. And I have to say, coming here when it's cloudy and foggy is actually awesome. And is a totally different experience. Yeah, you can't see anything, but it's a totally different experience. And I'd recommend it actually. Guys, only reason that I came here, there's a reason certain things are considered tourist traps. But if you come to Rio de Janeiro, you have to do this. I've done this twice, and nothing compares to it that I've done in the city. And the expression on Christ's face, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the statue to be magnificent, but I had no expectation that the expression on his face and his outstretched hands would be so moving. We did it, we made it. Yeah, absolutely amazing experience. Rain, sun. No. Rain, sun, snow, hail, whatever you whatever you gotta do. Come see Cusi Hodento. That was beautiful, it's time to keep going.
Fresh guts at the mall. Yeah, we're doing the mall. Now, don't get me wrong. We are doing the touristy stuff and going to the mall and shopping. But I'm very much training my ear to this karaoke accent, which I am not familiar with. It's been interesting this whole time in Rio, listening and hearing the karaoke accent, because I'm just not accustomed to hearing that at all. So, it's interesting. It's funny, sometimes I'm finding that it's really hard to understand, and sometimes it's really easy. For example, earlier today we took a taxi from the mall, and I was talking to my driver all about soccer here in Rio and in Sao Paulo, and I, I, it was the easiest time understanding him. I didn't have any trouble understanding what he was saying. Quantos times uh, do futebol tem o Rio? Rio de Janeiro? Yes. Grande quatro. Grande quatro são... Qual? Flamengo, Botafogo, Fluminense. Aí vem os menores que também são do Rio, que é Bangu, América, Portuguesa. É. Então tem três grandes, né? Quatro. Flamengo, Botafogo, Flum... Flamengo, Botafogo, Fluminense e Vasco. Ah, sim. Eu moro em São Paulo, eu sou corintiano. The carioca accent seems much more animated. Definitely seems like people are speaking faster and they have the shhs and the huhs the R's in the middle of the words, which makes it a little more difficult to understand. Also, I'm walking around Ipanema right now, I'm trying to find a bank. I had so many people tell me to be careful with this camera. Rio de Janeiro is just like any other city. Just gotta be careful where you're going. Be aware of your surroundings. For the love of God, don't let any reviews about the danger here in Rio prevent you from coming to this city. It is amazing. What you probably shouldn't do though is set your camera up on some street corner, walk away from it, and then walk back up to it. That's probably not smart. Besides that, you're good. I was actually really worried when I came to Rio that I wasn't going to be able to understand anything that anyone was saying. But two days here, I actually feel pretty good about this. So. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. For one night.